Charles Macro. 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 <laughs> What up everybody, Charles Macro jumping back into Imperion Galactic Survival. Hey, shout out to everybody. Ooh, I just had to get some of that air, man. I needed some of that H2O. My air kind of tastes good too. Yeah. <laughs> man, what's up everybody? I hope everybody's been doing well. I know it's been a minute, but I'm still in it to win it. Y'all know that. Oh, look at my joint firing. Getting this fire on. Yeah, man. So, hey, just shout out to all my survivalists, my Imperion Galactic players, man. In the last episode, we were beginning to work on our base. We had worked on our greenhouse. We were uh, sealing in the greenhouse because the base was open mainly. And um, I've been needing to really, really grind up resources because I'm trying to do this all out of uh, steel, you know, and iron. And, um,. You can really build a base with concrete, you know, even wood. So I'm trying to make sure that it's very, very solid, you know. We're going to act as if we can get raided by more than just these regular drones. And actually, from the looks of the teaser pictures um, that the devs have put out, it looks like drone attacks may be coming. Real massive waves of drones, not one or two or three. It looked like tons of drones. I don't know if that was MP. I'm hoping that they send where we can get attacked by um, mobs too. Um, you know, either the Xerox Foot Patrol or, you know, even just a, um, even some of the animals or something like they just come attack your base. Like, that would be so awesome. Um, but I think the drones were a, a good start and they at least help you to have to defend your base. But as I was saying, um, in the case of some of what I'm doing with my base, you, you build it and you simulate it as if you're getting these onslaughts of attacks all the time but uh that's usually not the case um but it's coming it's coming so let me know in the comments what you think about that let me know um if you will if you're ready to have attacks that really challenge your bases even on a single player level you know in fact i have a new game that i'm about to introduce the dev sent me a title and it's in the same vein of imperion it's a space survival joint but in this game out the gate of this early access development they have drones that you can use to harvest defend and attack build um now the structure of building is different in the game you put down frameworks of things so like we're building foundations when i put these foundational blocks you still have to go back and basically solder the block so your drones help you do that you can actually you have them follow you just to protect you um, and you can build multiple drones and have them all flying around. And this is not Osiris. It's a new title. Uh, so be on the lookout for that on the channel. I'm, I'm going to do a, a little early access and I may do a series on it. But anyway, I hope that uh, that is what those screenshots were of and that we'll have the ability to do more with our drones or have multiple drones or start using the drones uh, more as tools. Um, instead of just a, like I'm using it right now, only an aerial uh, building tool. That's basically all the drone is good for and scouting. We can't attack with it. We can't, you know, they feel like it'd be OP. In this game, the, the drone is not OP at all, but it's still useful for adding to that attack. So I think that's great. All right. So this is what I begin doing. This is the hangar area, and I'm trying to make it into a... Um, what is it more of a, a a sextagon or hectagon uh type of shape um and i wanted to maybe have like a landing pad on top of it now as you see i have these oxygenators and these survival tools out here i'm gonna have to move those those, those are gonna get moved but um i'm building this up and once again i'm kind of doing this as i go this area that's solid on that side of the hangar I think I'm gonna make that glass but I'm already planning out the other side with glass if that makes sense you'll, you'll see what I'm what I mean I'm gonna enclose this in glass because this is the shrine to that crashed vessel right there so I'm, I'm enclosing it in glass and when you walk around the room you'll be able to look at it and this room is gonna be a big greenhouse as I was saying so 
developing it out now I discovered this but right now is for what I'm showing you because I'm kind of going back to show you some of what I've done as well um I just realized that when I was doing my symmetry plane I was basing it on the vessel and not the base if that makes sense when you set your your, your uh, symmetry plane you have to click it on the vessel or base you know on the item that you're building upon I thought just because I was centering it on that that it would still apply it to the base so this is just another tip for you if you're building and you're building around something the way I am that's already there a POI as such it is in um it's looking at it as though I am building on two separate planes or two separate things so I just had to figure that out but I'm still gonna enclose this in and what I'm gonna do is just do it an asymmetrical side one side will um, one side will be fully done and fully enclosed the other side is gonna be temporarily asymmetrical and then I will make them both a uh, match so We'll see the progression in a moment. So let me let me show you that and we'll move to where I got all right. Yes, we are getting some growth. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oxygen, everything looks good. Check, check, check it a check. So, okay, let's move to our next area. Okay, so now I'm back to this phase. And um, before I did just kind of fully progress through it, I just want to show you my idea. So I started breaking this up on this side. I had the, the bright idea that I could put the glass in here and I figured the glass would be the same as the triangle. Where they're not exactly the same, as you can see, that one's bigger, that one's smaller. Um, not exactly the same so we're gonna have to go with this one and then the angle is slightly in between like one of the shapes is 45 and then that tip shape is you know 75 this one's in, it's right in between at like 55 like it's you know what I mean it's off so uh okay we just gonna have to make this work cuz like it'd be some what I let's see how it looks I think it's, it's gonna end up looking good it's gonna end up looking good Okay. That's an interesting look. Okay. 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 And bang. Okay. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. I just been trying to diversify my building, man, cuz it's so easy in this game to to make everything like a square, you know? So Okay, I like how that looks. So I'm going to have to go back on that more solid side and do it over here. But I'm not going to do it right now, though. I'm not going to do it right now. That'll be a future adjustment. Make sure I'm good on my oxygen. Okay. All right, cool. We're checking on some things. Okay. So let me, let me show you the progression. I'm going to move forward a little bit, and we'll see where we're at once again. All right? Okay, now check this out. This is a quick little magic trick. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Bow. There we go. <laughs> you see how I made them plants grow? All right, I just had to show y'all that. I've been growing and building up the greenhouse. Um, I had to take some of the plants and get some sprouts out of them in the food processor. And I actually moved the food processor into this room, okay? So just to, just to kind of keep y'all up on what I've been doing, all right? Okay. All right, so... I've begun building this wall on this side. The symmetry plane was still not working, but as you can see, I've done quite a bit. I'm moving the survival constructors and the oxygenator into the inside area where that uh, broken down vessel is behind the glass, the POI. So this is the greenhouse. Uh, I'm just extending the area where the greenhouse is because you know the greenhouse is on the other side of that door. This is just gonna be an extension. I'm gonna tear that wall out right there and remove that door. And I plan to bring the greenhouse all the way out like a U shape, like a C basically, or a U. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing that in the end, uh, but for now, uh, it works, it sounds good. So 
I'm also put a couple windows here and then I probably make the whole wall windows but for now like I said my resources are limited I'm still fleshing it out you know how it is some of it you kind of do as you go so we just gonna put this window up and see how it looks and um, we can always see those drones coming from that side as well now because of the drones I was like eh, I don't know if I want to have this as an open glass on this side so what I may do is wall it in again so this will be glass but then I still put a wall up so that even when you look at the glass you won't necessarily see all of that uh those hills and that backdrop over there of that radiated biome you'll just see another wall and maybe i decorate the wall it'll just be fancy but enclosed but at least you'll see the outside and get the light maybe even put uh instead of ceiling in it in uh glass roof this in you know we'll make some adjustments as we go but like i said for now I am about to wall this whole room in and close this whole room and it will make a funky shape that will work with the hanger shape all right okay so let's see um we'll see what the roof what the roof is starting to look like okay this is gonna work and dog i was thinking of making that wall go past the hanger but no it's gonna cut in right here by the hanger mm, where that light is okay i'll turn it by the hanger and then however it looks it looks we just gonna work it out so like i said i've been cleaning everything out of these Okay, we clean this one out. We clean this one out. Had to let it cycle those last couple items. And, okay, we can actually clear this out. We're gonna move this portable constructor. I may have called it the survival constructor. I think this used to be called the survival constructor. Not a one of your suit is. This is the portable constructor now. Oh, whatever. Okay, cool, so we got everything from here. And get this block down. And okay, do we have enough? We don't have enough to complete this ceiling, but we'll use what we got for now. Okay. Okay, this is coming along. This is coming along. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Let's see, some ice in there before we suffocate. And okay. Oh, our plants are growing. I keep forgetting I got this O2 station over here, doggone it, you know, instead of using the oxygen tanks. But uh, that's okay. We working it out, we working it out. Okay. So we'll finish this room, and like I said, we'll move ahead a little bit. I like how it's looking, I like how it's coming along. This is nice. All right, all right, all right, okay. Okay, cool. So we're making progress. We're making progress. We're building. We're building. Uh, so I've closed this whole room. I've enclosed it. Um, I've glassed it in. I've been building on some other areas. I had an issue where because you continue to build, your oxygen um, coverage will basically shut down or whatever. And so the oxygen just turned off. And as we know, this is the uh, arid star, so no oxygen on the planet, so we can't have that. So I actually had to figure out what was up. I basically just had to add an extra uh, oxygen tank. Um, this happened to me, I remember when I was first playing, I was like, what is wrong? I got oxygen, everything's good, and you know, the oxygen just switched off. So a lot of times you have to um, add an extra oxygen tank, an extra O2 tank. And... Um, when you get like the T2 version, you know, it'll cover better. So you can use a T2 or T3 if you're still using like a T1. But yeah, when you first start out, as you start to expand your base, you will not be able to produce enough oxygen to provide full coverage to the base. Now this right here, let me show you this. So I got two windows down there, but this is still the ceiling. But this, if you're building and kind of decorating, this is like a texturing trick. Uh, shout out to Spange. Um, but 
this is a texting trick that you know a lot of the the top builders are familiar with which is not just using the gun but using other blocks and the other shapes to provide forms of texture so that's what i did with that glass up there okay so i'm trying to get this uh right right here as far as the ground and my floor so yeah man it's, it's coming along really nice it's coming along really really nice have to uh yeah, it's coming along really nice. Look, I like this. I like this. Okay, okay. Let's look at the inside. All right, all right. Okay. So, as you can see over there, that area is still open. And due to my symmetry plane not acting right or me not enacting it correctly, uh, we didn't we didn't get that part yet. But I'm going to put a wall up over there. But look at this. Man, this looks nice with the sun and everything. This reminds you of like when you're looking at an apartment. You know what I mean? And you're looking at a home and it's still empty and you're checking it out and you see the view and the sun coming up and you got the glass everywhere. You like, oh, this would be dope to raise a family. Like, that's what this reminds me of right here. Oh, and I had to back this up. I had to back this up. So, yeah, man. Oh, I forgot to, uh, I got to turn the oxygen off. There we go. Okay. Ah, look at my garden starting to grow. Yo, my garden is starting to grow. That is what's up. Man, I don't know even what I'm going to do now that an Alpha 9 is about to come out. The devs is on this hard. Like, they trying to get this game ready to go. To, to go out. Um, Because I like what I'm doing with this base and I like this design. I'm just wondering will I be able to blueprint it because 9 is going to drop before I can even get to space. But that's cool. That's cool, because I actually, even in this playthrough, I wanted to do more on this planet. It's like, once you start playing Imperion, and once you really get it down, your goal starts to, or tends to be, at least in my case, just to get to space. It's like, let me get to space as fast as I can. Let me get to these new planets. Let me get these new resources. You kind of lose um, an appreciation for how vast and how much there is to do just on the first planet. I mean, that's the freedom of this game and, and what all they put in it is just a testament to you could literally put hours and hours and hours even after uh, your early game into just being on the first planet and exploring and conquering it, you know, um, finding all the POIs, taking them over, getting your resources and you could really build a mass uh mass vessels mass buildings mass bases off of a lot of what you garner just from the first planet so i think that's really really awesome um and i tr and that's what i want to do hopefully more in this series or just as this series progresses i really want to do more with just this first planet of course we're gonna go to space but yeah man really really appreciating and and um utilizing all there is to do on this first planet let me know in the comments what you think about that. Let me know what, what your experience has been and like what you've done and to what level on the original planets or even the secondary planets. Um, do you rush just to get to space or or are you really embracing that part of it? Okay. So yeah, we're making progress. We're making progress. That's what I like to see. Uh, what else do I need? Okay. Hmm see veggies fruits i gotta really really think about and map out how i want my garden to be and what actual uh plants i want to grow because you only really need to grow about four of them to really really produce the best survival foods but to get other foods and to even get the foods that are parts of the like objectives um you'll need a variety as well you need to grow all of them so i gotta map that out i gotta map that out but okay 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 let's see where we're at now let me craft a cannon real quick. Uh, projectile turret. And I'll do some 30 M's while we add it. Some 30 M's. 70, I'll do another 700. Let's make it 14. Yeah, I had something weird happen. I thought I got, like, my base I got hit by uh, drones, but actually, I think maybe I died due to heat exhaustion or something. I was building, and I removed the blocks in the bottom of the uh, 
of the room. And so the heat from the outside was coming in and I was, you know, repairing it. I don't know what happened. And then you see these drones are coming from, oh, the drones are coming from the other side. So anyway, when I died, I'm trying to run back to the base and drones were shooting me. So I happened to die right when drones were, <laughs> were um, coming to attack the base. And then I got stuck in a corner over here trying to hide. I'm thinking, oh Lord, I'll have my weaponry. I'm hitting P and it wouldn't let me go to the control panel. So I wasn't sure what had happened. But evidently, evidently everything was okay. I was going to come and, you know, record the episode and uh, talk about it. But yeah, it looks like everything is okay. So I'm going to light up this room a little bit. And I'll tell you where we at before we go do what we going to do. All right. And shout out to all my Imperion players, man. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the game. Let me know if you have any tips, any advice. You know, we can help out some of the uh, newer players. Hey, y'all help me. <laughs> y'all help me. So my goal initially, um, I was gonna make this a big room, a big greenhouse. I wanted it to go around this way, but I put my um, power units right here and you know, they got that radiation. So I said, you know what? I ain't gonna make the whole room full of radiation. I put this wall up temporarily just to um, enclose it so the plants would grow while I built the rest of the base because I built this using steel. So this wall was up and um, I tore it down. Like I said, I'll show you that in a second. I need to get that stuff from this drone. I'm gonna get this stuff from the drones real quick. And then once again, we'll come back and we'll look at what I built. You're seeing some of it right now. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Nourishment. <sighs> so yes, this is the area of the base. This is gonna be the hangar. And it'll be slash like the building area. And I'm gonna have my uh, storage there for now. I'm gonna build another, I don't have a light on this thing. I'm gonna build another one, another better one. Oh, I turned the lights on to save power. Lights off. stuff so yeah I have been building oh my weapons do I got my weapons on me okay Let's survey the scene make sure everything's good on the planet been busy working and such oh and they do have the quick uh, removal if you hold left shift and F I be forgetting I was just used to doing that and then I have to remind myself alright alright so we're pulling up on the base so this is what I've built so far. This is the side with the greenhouse. You see, I got the cannon up top. Got to build a second one. I'll probably put it right here. And then this is the hangar. I had built about half of it. So in building this, the other side is supposed to be symmetrical. Um, so this side is going to look like what we saw over there. But I wasn't able to get my symmetry plane to work. And I think that was actually because I was trying to hold it uh, here on the um, vessel. So the symmetry plane evidently was attaching to the vessel, but I was putting out blocks on this base, so they weren't, uh, it wasn't registering. I just realized that. So I gotta show y'all this in the daytime though. We are gonna come back in the daytime and I'm gonna really give you a good look at the outside. Those things are sticking up. They're just like that because I had like gaps sitting there because I did this cool design with the windows. So you see how it's um, it's like asymmetrical right now. And I was also gonna either put two greenhouses on both sides or bring the plants all the way around. Well, I think I'm gonna do the two on both sides, but now that I think about it, that may be doing a lot. I may just have the greenhouse here on this one side and then make this other side like the living quarters. 
that may be what I do. Let me know in the comments what you think. Cause I still gotta build it up, and um, I still gotta make that side look like this side. But y'all, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. All right. So cool. Go back in here and park. Right, cool 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 so we back so this is the interior of what i designed let's close this i actually made that switch so i can put the switch down so yeah it's like a little hanger i did some texturing tried some things with the design i mean i'm not a super aesthetic designer type person but i like to build stuff um, i'm gonna build more cargo boxes around and um, yeah, then put some more fixtures and things in here, but I'm going to build more rooms. So when we go through, this wall will be removed. I put that up just so we could enclose it and you know, get the oxygen going in here. So yes, I plan to bring this down. And what I'm thinking is maybe bringing the wall here and closing it. I I'm not sure how I'm gonna pull this off because it's kind of changing the way it's gonna look with my shrine. Or maybe I won't put a wall at all. This radiation will be all right. I'll just stop the plots here. That's what I do, I'll just stop the plots there. So I'm gonna tear this down real quick. I also gotta move that constructor back there to the hangar area. Probably put glass here. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Need those spices. So I'm getting some food built up, which is good, which is good. Cause man, the food was looking very scarce not too long ago. So as you see when we exit out, I need to go check on my water generators. Cool. Oh, you know what? No. Give me all those back. I'm gonna use these just cause I wanna finish getting rid of them. Okay, and you know what? What we'll do, we'll come back in the next one and we'll finish up. Um, and I'll show you the outside. Come back during the day. We'll look at the outside of the hangar when we start out. And um, if any other changes have been made. And then we'll go ahead. We'll explore. Maybe we'll um, either clear up the rest of the planet or maybe we'll hit up a POI. Um, check out something new and raid something. See if we can locate some action, all right? So hit me in that comment box, man. I appreciate everybody stopping through. You know how we do. Charles Macro and Perion Galactic Survival. Peace. Charles Macro. 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 <laughs>